Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. Pretty much at this point, we've got content going out uh, every 24 to 48 hours. So don't stay stuck with your, your business. And if you want more help, reach out to me. A number of ways you can do that. Visit the description below this video. Okay, A number of ways that you can reach out to me directly to either ask me questions or get help with your training business. Now, today I want to talk about one of the most successful, if not the most successful, uh, NCAA uh, programs in the entire country. Right, so today I'm going to be talking about Clemson uh, University men's soccer program. Now, something I do every single day is... I spend a little bit of time researching uh, the soccer industry, more specifically what programs are doing in terms of uh, camps, training, uh, individual training, small groups, what coaches are offering. And I gather a bit of information and I like to share it on our channel with what I have found. Now, something that I've been researching the last couple of, of uh, days is how Clemson University run their soccer training camps, right? So if you aren't familiar with Clemson University, they are one, if not the uh, top uh, programs in the entire country for soccer, right? In 2023, they were crowned champions of the NCAA uh, league. And today I want to share with you guys how you can kind of mimic what Clemson do in terms of how they run their their ID camps, so their ID soccer camps, and how you can use some of the ideas that they use into your, your business. Right now, if this is something you need more help with, and if there's something in this video or there's, you know, I talk about things that you feel, do you know what? I need help with this. Again, reach out to me. Video uh, description below this video is a number of ways that you can reach out to get my help. Right. So I on the screen in front of me, I've got the Clemson Winter ID Camp. Now, what you guys have to take note of is what tends to happen with a lot of the coaches who run these, these uh, college programs is when they aren't in season, a, a way for them to make extra bit of revenue and the way they make a lot of money is that they run these ID camps, right? So the reason why they run these ID camps is number one, obviously it generates extra revenue for them, but also they get to expose uh, the, the brand and try to recruit early uh, players into their program. So essentially what you've got to remember, a university is like uh, an academy, right? They've got to look for, for players that they're going to recruit early on. So running these winter ID camps is a fantastic way for parents to send their kids to these uh, ID camps or these, these, these pro these type of training programs so that their kids can be uh, so their kids can experience what it's like to be part of the Clemson or any university training pro uh, program. And also, you know, they get to their, their kids get to get in front of a lot of their college coaches. So I'm going to take the Clemson program, as I mentioned at the beginning, and I'm going to break it down a little bit of how what they do and different ways that you can uh, include these different areas of the camp into your your uh, upcoming uh, soccer camp, right? So this is, on the, on the screen in front, I've got the winter ID camp that Clemson ran not long ago. So this was um, a camp that they're going to be running this, they ran last month or a couple of months ago in, in January, right? So basically the process and how they have it set up is 
obviously they've got a facility to 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 be able to run the camp so if you're looking to run a camp that's the number one thing you're going to need you're going to need a facility to be able to run the camp whether it be a one day a two day three day four day right making sure that you've got staff making sure that you've got insurance in place and making sure you know you've you kind of ticked all the boxes to be able to run the camp uh, successfully now, what Clemson do is they have a website and all the parents will register onto that ID camp through a, a website. Okay, so if you want to run a successful camp, you need to have a landing page for parents to be able to subscribe onto your, to register onto your camp. Now, if you have a look here in the screen in front, I've highlighted it, what they do is that they advertise their camp well in advance, right? This is something we do a lot of, uh, with the coaches that we work with, is we help coaches run promotions for their camps. So if you have a look, right, the actual camp cost is $345. Now, that is if you register onto the camp after December the 1st. Now, if you were a camper and you register before, then what they do is they offer an early bird special where it, instead of paying $345, you are paying $310 for the camp. So that's something to take into account when you're running or when you're planning your upcoming soccer camps, right? Promoting it uh, early on, and having an early bird special where if parents register before a specific day, then you can offer a percentage off that upcoming camp, right? So if you have a look below, okay, this is pretty much the, the, the typical schedule that they have, right? So they'll have a check-in time where players check in. Uh, they'll have an introduction where it tends to be parents and players all stick around and the the, the coach or the head the, the head coach or whoever's running the camp will do an introduction to all the players and and parents talking about what the expectations are for the upcoming camp right so if you're running a camp yourself and you've got anywhere between 12 to 20 players what you can say to parents is you can have them stick around and you do an intro, okay, uh, introducing the camp, introducing what's going to be the expectations for the camp and how the camp is going to run, right? What they then go into is they go into a warm up training, all right? So they'll be, they'll run a warm up session for about an hour. And then after the warm up, they'll go into their first game, okay? So, Depending on how you want to do this, okay, what Clemson tend to do is, as you can see, they've got through, they run three games in a row, okay, and then they'll go into a, a dinner break, all right? So what some coaches might want to do is you might decide, right, I'm going to do a warm-up session, then I'm going to go into the main session, then I'm going to go into lunch, and then I might do an afternoon session as well. But what Clemson do, okay, they'll go into their first game, they'll go into their second game, they'll do a third game, they'll go into a break, right? And then they'll go into a, an 8v8 game, all right? And then once that's done, they'll wrap up and everyone goes back to, to the hotel. Now, if you do a day camp where it's not a residential camp, it's pretty much from nine to three, okay, you can set it up pretty similar, okay? Parents arrive, they drop off, you keep them there, you do an introduction, and then you do your first training session, you have a lunch break, then after lunch, you might go into an 8v8 type of, of game, or a 4v4 tournament, or a 3v3, depending on how many plays you have. Then you might go into a mini break, and then you wrap up the day at around three o'clock where parents come and they, they pick up their kids, 
Okay, so that is a typical day for Clemson. As you can see, this is a, a two-day camp. So it's a sleepover camp where players uh, tend to, we call them a residential camp where players stay the night, right? But pretty much what you can do from this video is you can get specific different types of areas and adapt your camps to how Clemson run theirs. Okay, so you don't need to copy what Clemson do, but you can take specific areas of the camp and implement them into your own your own business. Okay, so again, if you need any help, make sure you reach out to me. Description below. This is something we help coaches do. We help them run a successful soccer camp or soccer training programs, and we help them set set that up. Okay, thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content.